Okay, hi, my name is Dana Stevens. Um, I wanna take a second to um, thank you for giving me the opportunity to, to speak. Um, my mother's name was Rebecca Stevens. Uh, she was a mother of two daughters, a grandmother to five grandsons. Um, my mother's grandchildren meant everything to her. She was 59 years old. She suffered from COPD and um, had a severe hearing loss, which kept her from holding a job. But we would laugh because we called her a stay-at-home grandmother. My mother lived with us for 13 years. Uh, my oldest is 13, so he had grandma with us his entire life. Um, my mother took care of the house and kids while my husband and I worked full time. Um, a few months before my mother's death, we were given full custody of my 13 year old twin nephews. Um, it was a lot, but we made it work. Uh, my mother was admitted to Advent Health on September 27th, 2021, last year, with a COPD flare up. Um, she tested positive for COVID. My mother was extremely neglected starved of oxygen for six days. We were forced into palliative care, general inpatient hospice care, where we would find out that my mother had absolutely no rights. My mother was scared and in critical condition. I was told by 15 attorneys that I would have to go to the courts to get an injunction so the hospital would release her to me. I ran out of time and my mother was given a death sentence. On October 22nd at one o'clock PM, my mother was euthanized right in front of me. These doctors and this hospital killed my mother. I was completely traumatized after making phone call after phone call to about 50 attorneys who all asked me the same questions. Was your mother married? Did she have children under the age of 24? And this was the first time I learned about Florida's free kill law. This law was allegedly intended to protect consumers from high health care costs. But in reality, the only outcome that this law has revealed is the amount of physicians and hospitals who know that they have the safety net. No accountability has proven to result in more ne negligence, discrepancies and carelessness. Not only does this law free physicians from accountability, it also takes away patient rights. COVID-19 has put a spotlight on just how broken our healthcare system really is. Deadly medical errors are the third leading cause of death in the US according to the CDC. This law leaves more than half of the population in the state unprotected from medical errors. If doctors do not have to disclose th this free kill law with a patient, when a patient signs an informed consent form, the patient is not really getting informed consent. And this free kill law. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Um, Mary Jo, do you want to try again or do you still need a break? <laughs>